Previously in set 3, many of the late game comps have revolved around rolling down on stage 4 3 and then pushing level 9 after stabilizing. With the introduction of set 4, the gold required to level is now a lot higher, as it costs an additional 24 gold to go to level 9. This has drastically changed players' leveling strategies, forcing them to roll down at level 7 to stabilize instead. After analyzing a lot of high elo games, I have created a general guideline on what stage you should be leveling. So first I'm going to go through an example where you're win streaking. The first big decision that you need to make is whether or not you want to level on stage 2-1. The biggest indicator on whether you should level here is whether or not you have a good 4th unit to play. If your 4th unit you're going to put in at level 4 is like a level 1 Fiora with no synergies, you're probably better off staying level 3 here. But if you have a good level 4 board, then you want to level on stage 2-1 to try and win streak. I've even seen players level to 4 on stage 2-2. If they hit their 4th unit a little bit later, or if they didn't have the gold to level on 2-1, I've seen them level on stage 2-2 to try and maintain their win streak. Assuming you're still win streaking here, I've seen players level to 5 here, and then on stage 3-2, they level to 6, and on stage 4-1, they level to 7. So once you hit level 7 here, a lot of top players tend to roll down on level 7 to try and stabilize their board. By stabilizing your board, I don't mean to costing your entire board. There is a lot of different scenarios where your board is stable, but some examples of this is hitting a good chosen unit, or hitting one copy of your 4 cost carry, or even just 2 starring most of your front line. But you want to roll down here just enough so that your board is stable to get you to level 8. Make sure not to roll down to 0 gold here or else you're never going to get level 8. So probably maybe roll down 20 gold and then if you're strong enough then you could just wait. Depending on how much gold it takes for you to stabilize at stage 4 1, you could either go level 8 here if you're lucky and you could go 8 here if it takes you a little bit more gold than normal to hit your units. So from here you have one decision to make and your decision is whether or not you should go level 9 this game. So on stage 5-1, by this time you're going to be level 8, and you want to all in all your money here to try and 2 cost your whole board. If you 2 cost your whole board pretty early, and you get a very good chosen, you could consider going level 9 here, depending on how fast you get your max upgraded units. But if you're just rolling and you're not hitting any of your units because your comp is contested, you're probably going to stay level 8 for the rest of the game to try and 2 star your whole board, because at that point, you're better off just using the gold to roll down for your upgrades. And if you use that gold to hit 9 instead, you're going to have like 10 gold anyway to hit your units. So it's much better to stay level 8 from there. Yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to play your win streak board. You go 9 if you hit all your units. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So the other scenario is if you're loose streaking. And this scenario occurs when you're on stage 2-1 and you don't have a good fourth unit to play. At that point, you're better off staying level 3 on stage 2-1 to try and maximize the chances of hitting your 2 cost 1 star units. Because the lower level you are, the higher chances your 1 star units are peer in your board. So you want to stay level 3 on stage 2-1 and 2-2 and you want to naturally hit level 4 here. At this point, you most likely lost all 3 of these rounds because you're so weak. So you want to maintain your loose streak for these two rounds. And then by this time, you're going to have maybe like 30 or 40 gold. And then you want to spend 4 EXP to level here, to level 5. And then you could go 6 here. So once you're level 6 here, you're going to probably be like 20 HP below everyone, or maybe even 30. But everything else is pretty much the same. You level to 7 here. And you want to roll down here to stabilize, just like if you're win streaking. And then once you stabilize, you could go 8 here or here, depending on how lucky you are. So the major difference when you're loose streaking is at this point in the game. Because you're going to be a lot lower health than if you're win streaking, it's almost impossible to go 9 from here unless you're like super high rolling. Uh, usually you just want to keep donkey rolling until you 2 star your entire board and play for top 4. And then you just want to position for everyone and hope for the best. As you follow this template, hopefully you'll start to realize that you may want to level a bit earlier or later depending on how the game progresses. It's also still relatively early in the set, 
So I'll release a new video on this if the leveling strategies change again. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.